So they set up a special committee and said, look guys, forget about the evidence, you know what you're supposed to do. So they tried. She sat with 11 hours and swatted your questions away and didn't end. But it still hurts you. What will happen is, if she's nominated, the American people being fundamentally free and going to take another look. There was a big article in the New York Times today, I want you to read by Nicholas Kristoff, who's one of the most respected journalists in America, saying if you look at Politifer, the real point of politics checking a fact check in the campaign, she has by far the best record of being completely truthful, or if I would think she said mostly after anybody else. She's like 30 points ahead of everybody. And then next at 46%, Senator Sanders and at the bottom is Mr. Trump at 12. I mean, it's a, it's a myth, but it works, but it only works for a while. Then when people get two choices, they have to look at it again. You know, most people in politics I've dealt with over the years are actually pretty honest. They actually tell you what they want to do. And if you vote for them, you're going to get what they said. And so I just think that she's clearly the person most likely to do. When she was a senator, all these people that are attacking her now thought she was good. When she was Secretary of State, they all said she was good. It's all these politics. It'll fade away once the you know election starts and we get to see you know who's done what, when, and how many people have been helped.